in a development cycle, creating detailed mockups with UI specifications that can be easily implemented by engineers is very important. To help you with this task, we've created several stencil documents for Illustrator that contain everything you need to design great XJS6 user interfaces. For this example, we'll be using the Triton theme. With the document open, you can find that the contents are organized in several artboards. On the left side, you will find all of the XJS elements available as symbols that you can use to mock up UIs. These include buttons, grids, fields, panels, and graphs. You will notice that you can find all of these elements in the symbol library. On the right side of the document, you will find several example mockups. These mockups demonstrate how the symbols can be used to create your own unique designs. To create your own mockup, you can start by creating an artboard. Now let's add a panel to the document, which can be found in the symbol library. We can resize the panel in any way we like. Once we're happy with the size, let's add a title to the header of the panel. After we're done typing, we can style the text exactly as it would appear in this theme. We have included all of the text styles for this theme in this document. To access them, open the Character Style panel, then apply the header style to the text that we just wrote. Next, let's say we want this screen to contain three buttons. The great thing about working with symbols is that it allows you to use more uniform styling throughout your designs. For example, if you wanted your buttons to look red in this particular design, all you need to do is modify one instance of the symbol. To do this, double click the symbol to edit it. Once you do this, all of the buttons that you have already placed in the design will also change color. There are cases when you might prefer to have a button look differently than other buttons in the design. To change the look of a single button, you need to unlink its appearance from the symbol. To do this, select the element you want to unlink and click Break Link in the control panel. Now, when you change the appearance of this button, it will not affect the other buttons. You can use this function when working with grids. This makes it easy to create as many rows as you need. To do so, break the link to the symbol and then direct select the clipping mask and adjust it to reveal as many rows as you need. Finally, you can easily import the symbol library from this document into a new one. To show you how this works, let's start a new document. Go to the Symbols panel, Symbols Library menu, then Other Library, and then in the downloaded zip folder select the provided xstencil symbols triton.ai file. To import your character styles, go to Character Styles panel, Options, Load Character Styles, and then select the same file once again. We have provided stencil documents for three of the themes available in XJS6 Classic Toolkit. These can be used to create mockups for any desktop app you build with XJS. The included themes are Triton, Crisp, and Neptune. We hope that these assets will aid you in designing your next XJS app.